given us to reach where we are today. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, sir. Ladies and gentlemen, today we also have Karuna Nandi, Advocate Supreme Court of India among us. We welcome you and invite you to stage to receive this award. An outstanding advocate at the Supreme Court of India and an international human rights lawyer, her contributions have earned her recognition in prestigious publications like Forbes magazine and Time magazine, which listed her among the top 100 most influential people in the world in year 2022. Karuna's unique ability to explain complex legal issues in an accessible manner makes her a leading figure in shaping public discourse about rights and liberties. Additionally, she finds solace in songwriting, using her creativity to celebrate the strength and freedom of women. Ladies and gentlemen, let's have a huge round of applause for Karuna Nandiji. Namaskar, everyone. And I'm so grateful for this award as possibly the youngest person here. Um, as a first-generation lawyer, there are many challenges that you face. In fact, there are many challenges all litigators. It's compared to surgery sometimes. But here, you're doing surgery while the other surgeon is trying to knock the scalpel out of your hand and the anesthetist is placing doubt on you. Um, but there's also a lot of support that you get. And the kind of support that you get is sometimes in terms of precedent. And I'm going to note in this terribly august gathering um, some, of the, some of that kind of support. Justice Venkatachalaya had decided in 1989 the review judgment in the Bhopal cases that we have now been struggling with for a while. Justice Murlidhar had said he was, he was arguing these cases, he was the lawyer who was handling these cases um, uh, before me, and he said that it's one of the greatest legal travesties. But Justice Venkatachalaya was one of the judges that um, did one very important thing to take justice forward which is that he took the settlement of the criminal cases out of the ambit of the settlement. I would be remiss also not to note that Chief Justice Lalit, when he was of course on the bench, um, his achievements are widely known and widely congratulated. I think what is not remembered often enough is how kind he was, not just on the bench but as senior counsel two young lawyers, how encouraging, how well he listened, and how when it came to it, in another conference we were having in another matter, he said that in those Bhopal matters, if you ever need any help, I am there. And he spent hours and hours, days even, of pro bono time, leading us in that very difficult, cause of justice that we were pursuing. Justice Banerjee, you're an example to those of us who are not just first generation lawyers, but also women. Jaydeep Gupta, who is a senior but also a friend, the kind of camaraderie and bonhomie in the profession that one has received from you, and also insights that are not just legal, but also sort of quietly passed along. We are grateful. Justice Waziri, on the bench and otherwise, your articulation and inspiration has always been notable. Today I am here not with my family, but I am here with my legal family. They are people who make me look good. They work incredibly hard, and we recruit not just for brilliance, but we recruit for kindness. So we have Please Stand Up, we have Amanpreet Singh, Rishika Rishab, Muskan Tibrewala, Ishan Karki, Ragini Nagpal, who had to leave, but she made sure that she came even for a bit, and our um, volunteer, Ihab Sayyid. So thank you, all of you, for making one feel not like a first-generation lawyer. 
but for somebody who is supported and lifted by all of you. Thank you so much. So grateful. Thank you. Thank you so much.